You can easily view and create customized reports of the reservations in your Guestie account. Choose to view Guestie's default reports, such as upcoming bookings, or create your own reports that focus precisely on the information you need. Reports can be customized by adding or removing filters to display only the relevant reservations, and by adding or removing columns to choose which data should be displayed for each reservation. To get started, click Reservations in the top menu. In the top left corner, you'll see the name of the report that's currently open. The reservations that are displayed are based on the currently applied filters. For example, here we're only viewing confirmed reservations with a checkout date in the future. We'll show you soon how to add or remove filters. Choose which report you'd like to view by clicking here to open up the list. The top section of the list displays Guestie's default reports. And below are the reports that have been customized and saved. Click a report to open it up. You can add any of these reports to your favorites by hovering over the relevant item and clicking the star. And remove a report from your favorites simply by unselecting it. Your favorites list can be accessed here. If you have a large number of reports, search for one by clicking the magnifying glass. In this example, we'll open a default report called Upcoming Bookings, and we'll go ahead and customize it. Note that any changes made can be saved as a new, separate report, with the original report being unaffected. Let's get started with filters. Any filters that have already been added will be displayed here, and a new filter can be added by clicking the plus icon. You can either click each of these categories to view the relevant filters, and choose one from the list, or search for one here. In this example, we'll show you how to add a filter based on a reservation's number of nights, and to view only the reservations that are more than 14 nights in length. Click Add when done, and the filter will appear here. Edit an existing filter at any time by clicking it, making any required changes, and hitting Save. You can delete the filter if needed by clicking Remove instead. Now we'll move on to columns. Click here to open the editor. Just like with filters, you can view a list of options by clicking each of the categories and selecting or unselecting the relevant column type, or by searching for the one you're looking for here. In this example, we'll add the column Listing City. When done, click outside of the editor to close it. You can rearrange the order of the columns by clicking and holding the column name and dragging it to its new location, like this. Change the sorting of each column simply by clicking its name. Save this new configuration for quick access next time by clicking Save as New Custom Report, giving your report a new name, and hitting Save. The saved report will now appear here. You can export a report as a CSV file, if relevant, by clicking here. The file will be sent to the email address you used to sign into your Guestie account. Clicking this icon lets you share the report with another Guestie user or contact. When sharing one of your own custom reports, rather than Guestie's default reports, you can choose to share it as a report or as a link. When sharing it as a report, an email is sent containing the static data as it appears on the report at the time of sending. Sharing a link allows the contact or user to view the report, which dynamically updates using live data. Enter the names of the contacts or users here, add an accompanying message if relevant, and click Share. When sharing as a report, Choose whether it should be sent just this one time or sent repeatedly on certain days of the week at a chosen time. You can make changes to the report's sharing settings by clicking the Settings icon. To change the name of the report, click General, enter the new name, and hit Save. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know by clicking on the question mark on the bottom right corner of your screen. Thanks for watching!